Well, hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Wild Your Garden. And in this video, I'm going to talk to you about probably my all time favorite spring flower. And that is of course these beautiful cowslips which are stretching off into the distance along this lovely quiet country lane uh, in the middle of Cambridgeshire where I'm just looking at a few wildlife ponds that we are hoping to renovate later on in the year. But I just couldn't miss the opportunity to bring you a video on these very beautiful and of course crucial um, wildflowers for a lot of our wildlife. Now, cowslips are very, very important in terms of a nectar source for a lot of our early emerging insects, a lot of bees in particular, because they are very early flowering. So they'll be flowering in March, it's now the end of April, but they're still looking absolutely stunning and will be providing nectar through into May, no doubt. But these are a plant that are sadly in decline across, they are protected uh, across the UK because uh, their original term, if you like, the original name cowslip in folklore is believed to have come from cow slop, which was associated with cows associated with wildflower meadows. So yeah, I just love the fact that there's a bit of history behind the name there, but they are obviously um, synonymous with uh, meadows across the UK, of course, of which we've lost 97% now over the last century. So a staggering amount of habitat that's been lost. And unfortunately, with traveling all up and down the UK, uh, with my work there, there really are very few places that I could go where I know there are massive patches of cowslips and obviously undisturbed grass and which is of course where they have been traditionally found so unfortunately most of the time it's along our roadside verges which isn't of course a bad thing for when you're driving around at this time of year you can see these lovely lemon yellow swathes of flowers stretching along our roadsides. However, means that of course, it's sad that they, these wildflowers, along with many of the wildflowers now, unfortunately are stuck to the confines of the uh, roadside verges in which we go up and down every day. So yeah, it's a shame really, because they are such a valuable source of nectar for so much wildlife. Uh, they are of course the uh, larval food plant as well, along with primrose, for the Duke of Burgundy, or the Duke of Burgundy Fritillary, as it used to be known, uh, which is our only metal mark butterfly found in the UK. Uh, so a very important plant. And like I say, very good as a nectar source for so many insects, a lot of bees, uh, too many to name, but they really are a fantastic plant. And what I love about this plant is like the primrose, like the previous video I've done, if you haven't seen that already, I'll put that in as a link at the end of this video. They really are a versatile plant. They will grow in really heavy clay soils. They'll also grow in chalk, limestone, uh, wet areas, dry areas, well draining areas. Uh, pretty much you stick some of these anywhere in your garden, they will grow. So they really are good. Also in full sun as these are on this roadside verge, uh, but also in shady conditions as well. So along with primrose, a fantastic plant, something that you can really use to spruce up a corner of the garden uh, in terms of colour at this time of year through through March, April and into May, where they will do their very best at uh, bringing a smile to your face. So yeah, a wonderful plant. They, they are really versatile, as I say, and uh, really should be encouraged throughout our gardens. They're such a great pollinator uh, plant and um, one that you really should be looking to plant. So cowslips, if you haven't thought about putting some in your garden, I strongly recommend you do so. Uh, they are now available on the online shop, wildyourgarden.com. I'll put a link in in the description below this video. So uh, if you're looking to buy some, you can buy them in seed, plug or nine centimeter potted form uh, on the Wild Your Garden shop. So cowslips, get some in your garden. They are fantastic. Thanks very much for watching. Please feel free to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and give the video a like and I'll be sure to bring you many more videos on all the ways you can help wildlife in videos to come. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.